What up, world? It's Arson, A R S O N. Make sure you subscribe to my page. Um, what is this? Shit? Ooh. So, um, I was just <laughs> streaming through my thought process, and um, this word passion, um, the word passion. <clears throat> and how passion um, can become passiveness. Your passion can produce passiveness. And so with me and this perception or this thought form, which has developed into a perception, and for me to, you know, do a quick analysis on, you know, people in the world and, you know, entertainers and athletes and actors and, uh, you know, certain political figures, you know, um, all the way down to, you know, the janitor or, you know, a cop or whatever you're doing for a living, you know what I'm saying? But um, the reason why that I'm inter tangling and intertwining passion with passiveness is because that anything that you're passionate about or that you develop a passion for you know it, it was culturally given to you so for example um, a kid that you know that gets a basketball in his hand at the age of two or three you know I'm not saying that, you know, it's forced down his throat, you know, but, uh, you know, his dad was probably, you know, is a big basketball fan, you know, he goes to basketball games and, you know, he probably coaches or, and, and, you know, that, that passion that you've developed for this game, you can't, you become, you actually, it actually has become a physical gift for you. And so this physical gift that you have has, you know, is burning inside of you because, you know, culturally it was given to you at a, a young age and now you've developed a, a pattern and, and, and a habit of bouncing a basketball, becoming a good basketball player. But over the time and over the years, not all, some passions become passiveness. You know, a lot of people have compromised their integrity due to their passion. And so that's passiveness you know you, you probably you know you know like like the old stories like or or the you know how, how um how you how, uh, the conspiracy on how actors you know get you know major roles you know it's like they got to go on the casting couch and they probably had a passion and it's probably their deep passion to play this role or to um, act with this certain actress or actor and so now their passion has become passiveness now if you've, you, you've become passive and like oh yeah you suck my dick then you know you can play Princess Leia in Star Wars and it's just like oh she thought about it it's probably something that she wouldn't do she probably is just depending on her you know her high ability or her high skill to you know play Princess Leia but now you know she's you know, being passive based off of her passion for something, you know. And she knows that being around this big producer or this big executive or this big studio owner, that she has to be passive to protect her passion, which is acting. And so this passion thing, it can go into so many categories. You know, it can, it can, it can be... It can be, you know, basketball, you know, it could be, you know, um, it can be, uh, it could be, you know, dance, it could be, you know, it could be so many things that, you know, that can, uh, you know, compromise your integrity and make you passiveness. But, you know, uh, my journey is a little bit different, you know, I'm just going to turn the page to me a little bit and be a little bit selfish. But my journey's a little bit different, you know. I, I um, 
you know, I develop a passion for basketball. I develop a passion for, you know, um, for teaching. I develop a passion for, you know, certain things that I that I have a gift for. But at the same time, you know, I have this inner integrity, and through my journey, I have seen and also offered um, certain positions, high rank positions, money to join organizations just so I can be taken care of financially. But in my integrity, I don't I don't like being owned. You know, that's just me. I'm I'm like I'm sort of like Deadpool. I, I like I like taking possession of my own destiny. And so I don't need to join any organizations. I don't need to work at this man's job. I don't need to do any of that. That's and this is what I've grown to. Not saying that I never work for nobody, or I will never work for somebody. You know, I'm, I'm not that naive to not feed my family here on this physical earth. But at the same time, you know, I, I've developed passions, but my passions have not become passiveness, or I didn't, I didn't have to, you know, compromise my integrity. So um, it's just a little small video, man, to. Um, really be careful what you, you're passionate about you know you can be passionate about accounting you can be passionate about you know uh, being a business owner you can be passionate about you know real estate and stuff like that but at the same time that passion can become passionate passiveness and that devil does come you know that that, that that small voice does come those small opportunities where you have to account compromise your integrity just for this, you know, small piece of, or just to get this deal done or this small, you know, amount of money, you know, those things are going to come out. They're going to test your, they're going to test your, uh, your passion for something. There's going to be, uh, a person that's going to be of, uh, great importance. That's going to be like, Hey man, you know, let's just do it like this. And, you know, and just because you're passionate about that and you can't lose your job or you, you don't want to lose this opportunity you will become passive for that. So, your passion can become passiveness. So, watch out for that word passion. Watch out for what you signed up for. Watch out what you're continuously doing and, 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 and now it becomes a gift for you, you know. Take ownership of your own gift and make sure it's done out of the right, you know, uh, you know out of the right heart, you know. And so signing off, Arson. Peace.